Hey everybody, welcome to our channel Living in Richmond, Virginia, where we show you exactly what it's like to live, work, eat, and play right here in RVA. If you're thinking about relocating to the Richmond area, but aren't quite sure where you want to live, this is the video for you. I'm going to give you five steps to help you determine where you might want to live in Richmond. While all of these steps are important and one step builds upon the next, be sure to stay to the very end of this video because I will give you instructions, including addresses, to help you create a self-guided tour of the commercial levels for all the major areas around Richmond. After watching this video and following these steps, you will have a very good idea of what areas around Richmond you should be focusing on. If this is your first time to our channel, welcome. I'm Taylor Jefferson and my wife Sarah and I own and operate Jefferson Grove Real Estate. We are your Richmond relocation experts. And while other agents dabble in relocation, we live and breathe it. No exaggeration, we've helped families from all over the world relocate to Richmond, and if you're thinking about doing the same, be sure to download our free Richmond Relocation Guide, which has been updated to include all of the information from this video. The link is in the comments below and on our banner image. And please take a moment to subscribe to our channel, because we'll continue to post new videos all about living in Richmond, including more neighborhood tours, fun things to do around RVA, videos where we take you inside of homes that are for sale, and lots more coming up. I give tours around Richmond to our relocation clients all the time, and these five steps are exactly what Sarah and I do to come up with a game plan for which areas to focus on for each individual client. Steps one through three you can do from pretty much anywhere, but ideally for steps four and five you would do while visiting Richmond. But let's say you can't make it into town before your move, or you just want to do some preliminary research. We've got you covered with a backup plan. Our first nugget of information when researching Richmond, or any area that you're interested in, is that we recommend looking at previously sold homes versus active listings, because prior sales are a great indicator of where to expect to find similar homes in the future, and you'll get to see many more results looking back 90 to 180 days, versus the small glimpse in time of what's active at that single moment when you go to look. Now that you know that, let's get started. Step one is pretty simple, and that's to determine your budget. This is an important first step because your budget could be a limiting factor. I can tell you all about our favorite neighborhoods like Halsley, Magnolia Green, or Wyndham until I'm blue in the face. But if your budget is $500,000, I've wasted your time talking about Halsley because we won't find any houses there for that price. So let's say your budget is $500,000 and below. Well, in the past 180 days, there were over 5,000 single-family homes sold matching that price point. But if your budget is $250,000 and below, there were less than 2,200 results, which is obviously a lot, but we haven't added in any other criteria besides price. Throughout this video, I'll be using MLS, but you can do the same with Zillow, Realtor.com, or any other real estate search website that allows you to search through prior sales using filters. So in step two, we're going to further narrow down the results based on your housing needs. Think about the type of house you're hoping to find in terms of quantifiable searches. So I don't mean things like open concept, granite countertops, formal living rooms, screened-in porches, or things like that. We'll get to those, but not yet. Instead, what I mean is to think in terms of minimums. What is the smallest square footage you want, the least amount of bedrooms and bathrooms, the smallest yard size, things like that. So back to our example of a budget of $500,000 and less. Let's say you want four plus bedrooms, two plus bathrooms, 2,000 plus square feet, and a quarter acre or more. We can see that the results are down from over 5,000 to a little over 1,300. Now that's still too many to go through, so we still need to continue to narrow it down. This is where you can add in extra criteria like a garage, school system ratings, year built, and things like that. So let's say you want a year built of 2,000 and newer. Well, that takes us down to just under 500 results. Once you've added in your extra criteria, take a look at the map. In this example, you'll notice that we have pretty much eliminated all of short pump in the city, and that's because of the year built filter. Play around with these filters and see how adjusting your search criteria affects the results. Then lastly, go ahead and add in a map filter if possible to remove any areas that you think might be too far out, or if you already know some places you don't want to be, you can take those areas off the list. So let's say you want to be within a 15 mile radius of downtown. That takes our results to a little over 200. This is a very manageable number for step three. If after you put in your budget and criteria and you only see a handful of homes, this means one of two things. You could be on a unicorn hunt and potentially Richmond won't deliver what you're looking for, or you need to make some compromises in your search criteria. Depending on how large of an area you're looking within, I like to see at least 50 to 100 results before moving on to step three. Now step three will take you some time, but go through the results and scroll through all the pictures and mark the houses that you like. 
I recommend to sort them by highest price to lowest, unless you're specifically looking for a fixer-upper. You're more likely to find more results you like at the higher end of your budget, because due to the higher price, these should be larger, nicer, or in better areas than the cheaper ones. Once you have marked all your favorites, take a look at where these are located. This will tell you where you should focus your search efforts in steps 4 and 5. In this example, most of the homes are located in Midlothian and Mechanicsville, with only a handful of results elsewhere. This would mean you should primarily focus on those two areas during your visit and future house hunt. These next two steps would ideally be done while you're actually in Richmond. So step four would be to go drive through the neighborhoods of the homes that you favorited from step three. You might love a home itself, but if you hate the feel of the neighborhood, then you can cross it off your list. If you can't make it into Richmond, or you just want to do some preliminary research on neighborhoods before your visit, go through our playlist to learn more about the different areas. We have covered a ton of neighborhoods, the pros and cons of different areas, tours of houses in those areas, and more, but obviously we haven't gotten to them all yet. So your backup plan would be to use Google Maps Street View for houses that you liked and click around to tour the neighborhood. Just be aware the downside is that some of these street images might be very old, but it is still better than nothing. Now you might love a home and love the neighborhood it's in, but where you want to live is so much more than that. So step five is to visit the nearby commercial centers of any of the areas that had houses that you liked, or as I call them, the bubbles. This will be where you do your daily living, where you go get your groceries, where you go out to eat, your nearby entertainment options, date nights, things like that. Now maybe it's not the ultimate deciding factor, but at the minimum, it's important to know what's nearby. And if you're narrowing it down from two or three areas, this might be the tiebreaker. At the end of this video, I will have on the screen all the information you need to do a self-guided tour of these bubbles, including a starting address, an ending address, and what to look for in between. Please don't feel like you have to take notes or pause the video. I updated our relocation guide to include all of this information. If you can't make it into town yet, jump onto Google Maps and put in the addresses that I gave you, and just zoom in to check out everything that's nearby. Now maybe you had in your mind that you wanted to be located in a particular area or close to a particular commercial bubble, but you didn't see any results after going through these steps. Maybe your budget doesn't afford that area, or your housing needs don't match where that area delivers. I will tell you that Richmond's set up in a way that commuting between these different areas isn't that bad. Trust me, I murder my car with mileage driving between these areas every week showing homes. Step zero for this video could have been just call us, and we can help you through all of these steps and answer any of your questions about moving to Richmond. We are always happy to help. Thank you for being here with me today, and as promised, here is the self-guided tour information. 